I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and I've got my BIOS all made. And I'm going to go to Newport in a while, but Beth is in shipping, and I can't go until she finishes shipping. Uh, so, I thought while I was waiting, I came up with this crazy idea to see if I could uh, dry bake in a new soap pot uh, a little more efficiently. So I've got this idea I'm going to try, and I thought, what the heck, I might as well shoot a video while I'm doing it. Uh, and if it turns out real well, this is probably the method I'll use out on the island. But I thought I'd try it ahead of time, because it's going to be quite a while before I get a chance out there. And I kind of like to know ahead of time that I've got the bugs out of it before I do it out there in the wilderness. So, uh, I'm going to make, uh, just add water, uh, simply add water, triple berry muffins. And I'm going to try to do the whole package at once. It's easier that way and there's more of it. Now, what I've got here is, I've got the uh, stove I was telling you about, uh, the prototype. And then I've got a 12 centimeter Amusa pot with a 10 centimeter pot with the handle removed. And uh, John from Flat Cat Gear, I believe, came up with the idea to use a ring of silicone in the bottom of the pot as a standoff so it won't burn. We'll see how all this works. Now, my idea is, after talking to Sue, who's a really good cook, her and Beth, that I should first coat the inside of my pot with some oil and then lightly sprinkle it with flour. I'm going to try to lightly sprinkle it with some of the uh, uh, muffin mix instead of flour so I'll have to carry flour. We'll see how it all works. I'll probably crash and burn, but hey, it's worth a try. 23 minutes out of my life, I wasn't doing anything anyway. So let's get started. Uh, I think the first thing I want to do is get the top off of this. Quit screwing around here. I'm going to take uh, a little bit of oil and put it in this 10 centimeter pot. And I'm going to try to completely cover the pot with oil so that uh, some of this uh, muffin mix will stick to it. And that's supposed to keep it from uh, sticking when you bake it. I'm dubious, but hey, what do I know? That's what I've been told. So, we'll take a little bit of this muffin mix, put that in there, and we'll try to roll it all around here and get it to stick everywhere. Oh, that didn't work too bad. Got some berries left over we're going to have to dump back in here. There. You can see the inside of that pot is all covered. Okay, now I was going to mix this up in the bag, but I ripped the side of the bag. So I've got another bag over here I'm going to use uh, to mix it up. Hey, live and learn. Be careful with your bags. Uh, don't rip them. Okay, I've added a little bit of water to this and I have it in a quart bag. And I'm going to see if I can uh, knead it and get it mixed up to the consistency I want. I can see it's going to take a little bit more water. Not a lot. This is tricky because when it, when it goes, it really goes. So, a little bit more water, I think. Although that's not bad right there. Okay, now, uh, I've got to get it out of this bag and get it into the bottom of this pot, which is probably easier said than done, but anything can be done if you put your mind to it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now see all the things I've learned here so far? Uh, this has been a very learning experience. Okay. I leveled out the bottom of the pot. And uh, get the camera off the tripod here so you can see it. Okay. There we go. And it's only takes up about an inch in the bottom of the pot, and that's an entire bag. But this raises like crazy, so hopefully it won't go over to the top of the pot. Now we've got uh, 
John of Flat Cat Gears silicone ring, and I want to give him credit for that because that's a very creative idea. You might want to visit uh, Flat Cat Gear and see what he's up to. I haven't been there for quite a while. Uh, and I'm going to put this in and try to leave a space all the way around it so that it doesn't touch the other pan. Okay, so far I think I've got a really good setup here. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to take that and I've got a 12 centimeter Anusa lid, one of my lids, put that on. And I'm going to fuel up my, my proto stove. And let's see, yep, yeah, that's the right one. I just want to fuel the center. And i got to get myself an ignition source here so I can light it. Okay, I want that fueled up in good shape. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to put my pot stand on here. And set the pot right on here. And stack my timer. And I believe this is going to take about 25 minutes. Uh, I'm going to put a windscreen around it. There. Now, uh, that should be everything I need. So, I'll uh, turn the camera back on here in a few minutes. Uh, once we get into this, because this is a long-term project. So I'll turn the camera back on in uh, probably 20 minutes and we'll uh, take the top off and see what we got. Okay, it's been about 23 minutes, so uh, let's see what we got. I'm going to put this back on the tripod and bring it right over here so that I'll have my hands free. Crank it up a little bit. There we go. Okay. So, uh, let's see what we've got here. Wow, uh, that looks good. And I just stuck a one millimeter Allen wrench in it and it didn't stick anywhere. So, I'm going to blow that stove out. Uh, let's get a look at the stove. Yeah, I'm going to blow the stove out. And I'm going to call that done. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that cool down a little bit for a little while. And then I'll turn the camera back on. We'll pop it out and uh, see what we got. But it really looks, and looks can be deceiving, like that is a really uh, winning design. And that piece of silicone, we'll see how it survived. But if it did, that's definitely the answer. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes. Now, remember the gloves I was going to put in my backpack? I think this is a good time to put them on because there's no handle on this pot and it would be real easy to burn yourself. There's a piece of silicone. Never hurt it a bit. It's perfect. Uh, didn't singe it or even turn it white. So, that's definitely... Thank you, John, from Flat Cat Gear. That's definitely a keeper. Okay, now comes the moment of truth. I'm going to try. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that, Sue. Yeah. Oh, wow. That looks tasty. So, oil in the so pan good. and then putting a little bit of that. Did you see how that came out? Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's just uh, couldn't be better. So, I guess we probably ought to break into this. And I got to tell you, this thing is hot. So uh, 
we'll use a fork here. <laughs> and looks perfect. Look at that. You couldn't have done better. Wow. That came out uh, really no different than something you'd cooked right in the oven at home. Uh, and I'm sure it'll taste fine. So, I'm Tinny from Mabel Design. <laughs> Get out and hike. Take a friend. Enjoy the great outdoors. Enjoy some cooking out on the trail with your alcohol stove. And more important than anything, try to have a really great day. Bye-bye. I'm kind of hungry. I'd have a piece. Mm, whatever. Hot. It's getting mm. hot. Yikes. That'll work. <laughs>